Bitcoin is in trouble. There's blood in the streets, there's panic, there's pandemonium. Bitcoin has recently fallen from its highs of 69,000 all the way down to 34,000. There's a lot of theories out there as to why this is happening, what's going on, what you should do. But in today's video, this is what they're not telling you. It's time for you to buckle up. If you're new here, my name is Steve. I'm gonna help you get one step closer to your financial freedom. Hit that subscribe button right now. Did you do it? Hit that subscribe button. Let's jump straight into the charts. There's a lot of bad news out there. There's turmoil, there's fear. We even have our red shirt on to represent the bloodbath that's happening. But I wanna start with something that is from a different perspective and something that you may enjoy. To hear. You're probably watching a lot of videos and they're and they're calling for other prices and lows, but I want to start with something that's just based on the facts and the charts. And if you're new here to this channel, we just cover the facts and the charts. And what's happening right here is, is pretty noteworthy material. What we've got down below is the RSI. And if you know anything about the RSI, it measures overbought and oversold. And if you know anything about the chart that's right here in front of you, you can see that we just entered into this yellow circle. Now this yellow circle represents about 26 on the RSI. Now keep in mind we're on the two day chart only because it will clean up a lot of the data. Now if we were on the one day chart it would be literally double the data and it would be tough to fit in our screen here. Now when we put it on the two day chart it cleans it up and you notice that one, two, three, four, five times in Bitcoin's history, we've been this oversold. Meaning there are so many people selling Bitcoin right now, it's driving down the prices, increasing the blood in the street and the fear. But you are not a part of the herd. And when you're not a part of the herd, you're doing the opposite of the herd. Why? The herd always gets slaughtered. The herd always gets slaughtered, but not you, right? You're not gonna get slaughtered and be a part of the bloodbath because of this chart that's in front of you right now. This chart that's in front of you is the entire history of Bitcoin, the entire history. Think about that, let that sink in for a minute. This is the entire history, and only five times in history have we been this oversold. Now, if we zoom out and we look at the times in history when we were this oversold, for example, in October 2011, Bitcoin price was down here and obviously we went, we, we had a very nice run since then. You can look during this time period when we had many bounces and then an absolute turn in the market and, and going to uh, back to a bull market, right? Does this mean that Bitcoin's going right back to a bull market tomorrow? No. And if you thought that, I need you to reset your brain because this takes time. What I'm telling you is that five times in history, just five, have we been this oversold. Meaning this obviously represents a pretty good time to buy Bitcoin, not a pretty good time to sell Bitcoin. Now, does this mean that Bitcoin is going to go uh, continue going up tomorrow? No, we don't make videos about what's tomorrow, what's the next day. That's not where you're gonna make your money. Where you're gonna make your money is on the next major move. And the next major move, traditionally, when we've been in this territory, has been a pretty nice move to the upside. Now, does that guarantee a move to the upside? No, it simply says, in history, Bitcoin has had five of these such occurrences. The majority of these such occurrences, right after peeking its head through this level, has seen a nice bounce to the upside. It's a recovery because during these time periods, Bitcoin was so oversold, the market had to rebound. And this represents a good time for the market to rebound. So I wanted to start out with some different perspective. Now let's jump into another chart. We pointed out the fact that this green line, the last time that we broke this green line was the COVID crash. We called out for this crash, uh, this break uh, of the green line many weeks ago. We warned folks about this, that this would not be a good thing. It would only resemble the COVID crash. And then uh, at the same time period, looking at our MVT H feed, this was something that we always keep our finger on the pulse and any change to white historically means a 50% correction. Now, luckily we got a change to white back here on December 27th when Bitcoin was roughly 50K. That was our big warning. That was like, hey, wake up, there's something coming. And at the same time we were watching this green line, right? And at the same time we knew that the, the RSI was bearish. At the same time we were watching for a stochastic RSI cross above the 20, we did not get it. 
okay so we did not have any bullish momentum coming to the market we changed to white and we broke this line and then you see what happened after that and now we are still white now one other thing to point out in the rsi on the weekly is that since 2018 we were in a pretty strong trend meaning we had a low a high a higher low and a higher high we were looking for this to be our pivot low we were looking for this to be yet another higher low we just took out that higher low. We took out this pivot from July. All the way back in July, we destroyed it. What's next on the horizon? We're looking at this pivot low and our our long-term uptrend is in jeopardy. This could act as our new pivot higher low. We need to see how the charts play out, but it, this long-term trend since 2018 is in jeopardy. So right now we're looking at this level of about 33 and it's likely that Bitcoin is gonna go down and play with that level over the coming weeks to coming months. So pay close attention to that as well. We'll keep our eye on the MVT HV. We'll watch this level to see if we can come up and play with it and test it about this 48 level. If Bitcoin does see a bounce, which it should based off the oversold levels, if it does, I would be surprised if we bounce over 50K. Watch that level as we come up to it. Now we're gonna jump into a few more charts, but if you want, you can follow us on the Twitter at CryptoCrewU. Let's jump into the next chart here. This is something that we warn folks about because it rarely happens, right? We like to look at the charts, find the facts, and this was a really big picture one. This was on the monthly chart, and this is the MACD, all right? The MACD had a cross, okay? We talked about it before it had its cross, and we talked about it only happened one, two, three other times in history, and all three were about 50% drop or more. We just had our cross. That's a fact. It's also a fact that the last three times we had this cross, it didn't end well. We'll have to see how it plays out over the coming weeks. Now, this is something that could actually save Bitcoin. Now, we told this in some other videos, but I want to make it Crystal, crystal clear here, really black and white. This is the two week chart. The two week chart with the stochastic RSI, which is our momentum. I believe that over the coming weeks to coming six to eight months, we're gonna look back on the cross that this has, and it will have a cross in the future. That will dictate when Bitcoin is gonna have its next big leg up, all right? So right now we're looking at this 30K level, 33K level, and for obvious reasons, we do not want to break 30K. We'll go into our three box theory here in a coming video. And also in another video, we're going to talk about the Gaussian channel, right? The Gaussian channel, luckily, it gave us warning signs 250 days ago. We spent a very short period of time out of the Gaussian channel and then quickly re-entered the Gaussian channel again and now breaching the bottom of the Gaussian channel. That will be in our upcoming video again. So make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. But this chart right here, watch for the two week cross. If we hold this level and get a two week cross, we could see a nice bounce to the upside. We'll have to determine what this cross is when it occurs and are we confirming above the 20 but all of that and more will continue in our videos but now you probably have the biggest urge to sell cryptocurrency whatever crypto you're holding now you probably have a bigger urge now to sell than ever and i made this video and it's done very very well for folks but it's when to sell cryptocurrency three simple steps watch that video it's down below this will help you tremendously uh, but a little hint is you shouldn't be selling if we're the most overbought we've been in history of bitcoin okay it's likely we'll, we'll see a bounce will we continue down after that bounce it depends if it's a dead cat bounce if it's a failed rally the market is in trouble right now we're looking at key levels but more to come in future videos make sure you hit that subscribe button we'll see you right back here on the next video video.